Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I got a little project today that is something I've done it all over the house in different ways, but it, it's some of the cheapest ways I found and easiest ways of, of, I found of lighting things up. So they use just your regular 12 volt LED strips, which you can get now so incredibly cheap, especially if it's just white, which is all these are. Uh, I don't, I think I paid like six or seven bucks for a 16 foot section of these. So I got a whole bunch of those. Sonoff makes these little controllers that are, uh, you know, configured to work with your smart home and they're a permanent install style. You just pop this guy apart. So it gives you the connections for regular household current input and regular household current output. Little learn button there and you have essentially a controlled uh, household power setup. So these guys are great. They're also cheap. I'm gonna link everything in the description as always so you can go and check that stuff out. So you have a smart way to control a power supply and these guys are also super cheap. I don't really know how they make these this cheap, uh, but you can get them in basically any wattage you want. So this is a pretty beefy one because this is gonna be controlling a lot of light strips. And I've got a smaller one for the other side of the house that only needs to control a couple of light strips. And uh, again, incredible value for the money. 12 volt power supply, they are adjustable. So you get anywhere between like nine and 16 volts you can adjust. And uh, incredibly inexpensive, again, link to the description. And the goal here is to do something I've wanted to do to this house since we bought it. And I just, here we are nine years later, I'm just now getting to it. While we have the staging here, I figured this would be a great time to finally light up these beams. And I don't wanna see the light, they're gonna be reflecting up. Uh, sitting on the top of each beam, but I think it's gonna add a really nice warm look to the room And as you can see we'll skirt around we've got them obviously on both sides. These ones aren't quite as long That's the plan. So we'll get to it. I Decided to mount one half of the system basically above this little ceiling here And I'm not gonna go into detail on the mounting on this one because it's tough to get a camera in there But I'll show you the other side how we get this all wired up Okay, so we are in a little utility closet here um, behind the bathroom. This is actually a laundry chute that comes down and puts a, we put a laundry basket right here. Uh, and I've already got some of the stuff, so the amplifier for the stereo that's in the shower, uh, some of the, the accent lighting and LEDs that are in the bathroom are all here. And we're just going to add in another 12 volt power supply here for that beam lighting. And then I'm also going to add in one of these Sonoffs get this thing zipped in there. Okay, so we're feeding the neutral and the hot into the inside of the Sonoff, Sonoff, Sonif, Sonoff. Good and tight. And uh, now we just gotta feed our output side. Let's go up and over. Yeah, we'll go up and over. And then on this, you've got your input down at the bottom here. Line, neutral, ground, negative output negative output, positive output, positive output. So it gives you two different sets. So you, if you got a big load on one of these, you can split it up a little between the terminals, which is nice. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Really wish I grabbed my wire strippers. Those would have come in handy right about now. Okay, just double check connections, line neutral. I don't know why I'm a stickler for having nice straight wires. Not very, uh, not what you call very artsy in any other respect. But for whatever reason, when they're crooked, they bother me. Power comes in to the box that I gotta get a cover for. Feeds into the sewn off, sewn off, on and off by remote control. Feeds 120 volts 
into the input side of the transformer. Output side of the transformer, out goes 12 volts. And there's a little orange dial up here where we can kind of fine tune that. And uh, what's really nice about that is when you're doing multiple sets like this, where you need multiple power supplies because they're spread over a large area, is you can use this to dial in so that all of your individual chains are the same exact brightness. Because if you've got you know seven spools on one transformer and three spools on another, and that's like what we have here. I've got like 14 on one and uh, two or three on the other. Uh, I'm going to need to bring the voltage down on this side so that I get a nice even look across all of the LED lighting. So using individual supplies like this is really nice for that. Um, you can boost it where you need it and dial it back where you don't. So let's go uh, turn the power onto this and see if we can't blow it up. Alright, well we got a flashing blue light. Nothing's burning. I'm going to add this device to our network here. So I think these are Zigbee. I don't honestly remember. Start Zigbee pairing. Hit the switch. Oh, yeah, it is Zigbee. Alright, so this is going to be beam lighting. And this is going to be the right side. So I get that. So that's a long name, but I'm not going to need to say that entire name in order to activate them. We'll go in and program that stuff to be simple, more natural speech patterns. But it's important to me to have full descriptions for everything because we've got, I mean, I've got up over 200 switches in the house now. So uh, it's a lot and it's easy to get it mixed up. So we're good to go. Let's go see if they work. All right, we are cooking and it is looking good. I've been dying to light these beams up since the day we bought this house almost 10 years ago. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, for those of you that are doing a lot of LED strip lighting, I don't think there's a more cost effective way of lighting up a whole bunch of these strips than this. So uh, as always, you guys, I appreciate you watching very much. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or criticisms, make sure you throw them down in the comment section below me. Otherwise, everybody, thanks again for watching and have a great day.